Howdy folks, how's everyone doing today? Uh, for this video, we are finally getting to Halo 2 with the topic of who's flying the phantoms. And we're just going to get right into it, starting on the mission outskirts. And this video is going to be a little bit longer than the other um, videos we've done exploring the phantoms. And that's because um, the answer is not one single pilot, or one single type of pilot. You'll see in a second, but I had to use a, um, a mod that the, uh, the Vengeful Venom actually uh, recommended to me to get the uh, pilots out. As you can see, in, the, uh, in our previous videos in other Halo games, we had to use like other vehicles to flip phantoms, or we had to use glitches to get phantoms to flip. And, well, uh, in Halo 2, thanks to this mod, we can just, uh, instead of forcing the pilot out, we just ask nicely. <laughs> and as you can see, at least on outskirts so far, the pilot of the phantoms is just the standard blue elite. Or if you want to be more accurate, an elite minor. But, yeah, it's just a standard blue elite. Nothing uh, too special about the pilot. And another interesting thing is that um, if you flip the phantoms, well, if you cause the phantoms to drop, the uh, any vehicles attached to it, much like with the pelicans, they, uh, they they remain attached to it, and they don't you can't detach them manually unless you blow them up. But anyway, so moving right along, we're gonna skip a little bit ahead to the mission, uh, the Arbiter, and let's see if there's any difference on here. So I'm gonna wait till the phantom drops off the its passengers or its crew so that there's no confusion if I let it drop because if I get the pilot out and it flips over it'll flip over everyone inside the phantom and then it'll be hard to tell who the pilot is so right there at the very top that is the pilot another standard blue elite uh, and what's interesting what's particularly interesting about uh, this pilot is that even though he's armed and you know he's like just like any other elite here he uh, he will not attack any enemies. He won't even react to them. He will just stand there and you know get attacked, and he won't do anything. Um, so you know, I guess he uh, he's not scripted to do anything at all. His, his AI is only like strictly meant for the Phantom, it seems. So that's why he won't uh, attack any enemies or even react to them. But yeah, so. That's still another elite there, but are all the pilots elites? Well, like I said earlier, no, that is actually not the case. So here we're on the same mission, and this is at the very end. And as you can see, this phantom, the one that backs you up, is actually a grunt, in a uh, spec ops grunt, not an elite. And uh, this is, I don't know why it's like different at the end of the mission. But for some reason, instead of using an elite in the Phantom, they chose to use a Grunt. Even though at the uh, earlier part of the mission, they used elites in the Phantoms. And another interesting side effect of this is that because you killed that Phantom, basically, when the Grunt fell to its death, the uh, once you get into a Banshee, it just skips the entire chase scene. You um, It tells you to go straight to where the Heretic Leader's Banshee is. You could do that anyways, whether you kill the uh, Phantom or not. But now... I guess it glitched and it just you don't have to search around anymore because there's no more phantom. Now what about the mission Sacred Icon where Tartarus comes here and backs you up? Well, as you can see, it is not Tartarus in the phantom. And it's supposed to be Tartarus flying the phantom because, you know, he's talking and then when the phantom gets attacked by the enforcer, he's like, he says, blast the machines and flies away. But as you can see, it's actually an elite. Um, just another standard elite piloting the Phantom, and it's not Tartarus, but I guess that's not too surprising because you actually don't have any brute allies. Brutes are supposed to be your enemies on this mission. Well, not quite yet, but brutes are always enemies to uh, to you, so that's why you never see brutes alive together with the Arbiter because uh, they're set to be your enemies. And I guess it's just easier to hide an elite in the Phantom so that uh, it. You know, there's not much trouble with making brutes friendly temporarily, because uh, they're normally not supposed to be. And here's another uh, part of the uh, next mission, Sacred Icon, with Tartarus backing you up before he betrays you. And as you can see, still an elite. 
No Tartarus or even a Brute. Just a regular standard elite. But what about uh, missions where you actually fight the Brutes as uh, the Arbiter? Like the Great Journey. Or the last mission of Halo 2. Is it going to be an elite? Or is it going to be something else that's your enemy? Well, let's find out. There is one Phantom here that we can easily uh, get access to. And I did have to set all the enemies to be friendly so that I can nicely ask them to get out of the uh, Phantoms. <laughs> so that's why they're all going to appear as uh, friendlies. As you can see, it is Brutes on the last level that's flying the Phantoms. So in Halo 2, there's basically at least three AIs that fly Phantoms. Most of the time it's Elites. On one occasion it's a Grunt. And then on this level it's Brutes. So... In the other Halo games, uh, it's been mostly consistent. Uh, I'm not positive if every single Phantom in the other Halo games are the same pilots. Uh, it's not as easy to check in those games, but knowing this about Halo 2, I could go back and take a look at those games if you guys want. And the results are different. I could you know, upload them be an updated video. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this to be interesting. Uh, now you know who's flying the Phantoms behind the scenes, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts and comments, if there's anything else you want me to check out, or anything I'm going to test out, just let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!